Um, IB Geography Water Management Futures. Um, let's start with dams. So, what is a dam? A dam is basically a structure that holds back um, the water of a river or some kind of a flow um, from its natural flow. So, there's this act of holding back. Um, this is either through a strong concrete structure or some kind of an other material, but it is quite strong to hold back that much water. Um, in this case, we considered the Aswam Dam on the River Nile in Egypt. Um, and let's, I, just, I would like to start with the costs and benefits. So the advantages or benefits of uh, the Aswam Dam, or also dams in general, uh, is flood and drought control. So dams allow good crops in dry years. Um, with So that's what I mean by drought control, because we can navigate the water through this dam. Uh, so for example, in the case of the Aswam Dam, in uh, 1972 and 1973, there was a huge drought. But uh, thanks to the Aswam Dam, uh, the crops could be saved. Uh, next is irrigation. So 60% of water from the Aswam Dam uh, is used for irrigation. Irrigation is basically um, the redirection of water to agricultural land for watering the uh, crops, etc. So it's important for the population also. Uh, then hydroelectric power, um, so this also uh, provides a lot of energy, uh, especially, yeah, renewable uh, energy, ecological energy. Um, as I said, improved navigation also has to do with uh, drought and flooding, etc. Um, then we have recreation and tourism. Um, this also accounts for um, uh, a lot of the uh, a major role. It plays a major role in the Egyptian economy, for example, in the Aswan Dam, uh, about five hundred million dollars each year. Uh, minimize the risk of water control politics, so it reduces the risk of uh, politicians clashing due to uh, for the right to water. And so the dam, uh, because of improved navigation, minimizes this risk. And also land reclamation and cultivation. So land reclamation is the building of new dams, uh, of new land, I'm sorry, of new land. Um, so it's kind of like you're building new islands um, on places where land didn't exist before. The costs of dams. Um, yeah, there are numerous costs also in the case of the Aswam Dam. So um, there is seismic stress. Um, so there is allegedly dams do cause some earthquakes. Uh, this was said for the Aswam Dam in 1981. There was a huge uh, earthquake that was thought to be caused by the Aswam Dam. Um, but this is because water, when um, as water levels in the dam decrease, um, I mean, so the seismic activity. This is because um, the afforestation of uh, the slope of the bank uh, causes pressure on the slopes, and so causes seismic stress. So when you have a lot of water accum accumulated. Um, or is held back, um, it caused a lot of pressure on uh, also the bed of such a, a river. Water losses, um, so I mean that in this case of the Aswam Dam, um, it provides half of the water that was expected, so it's not really a water loss, but like more of a um, less effective water uh, providing provider. Uh, then we have salinization. Salinization is 
the saltiness of the water. So when the water becomes more salty, that's not great for the agriculture. So the crops are reduced. Um, yeah. So that with irrigation, so due to salinization, irrigation is sometimes not so effective. Um, then there is groundwater changes. Um, so this is also called secondary salinization. Um, when the salinize, when the salty, basically saline water, um, seeps through the groundwater it's also like a secondary salinization uh, process um, drowning of archaeological sites um, for the Aswam dam uh, the Ramesses the second and the Nefertari at Abu Simbel uh, these are um, had to be removed uh, to safer locations because they were drowning um, also, uh, the humidity affects, uh, yeah, ancient monuments. So this is a situation. Uh, deposition within the lake. Um, channel erosion. So channel erosion um, is quite significant due to the amount of water that is held back. And so this water weighs on everything and causes extra erosion. So this uh, erosion caused by water, if you if you recall, is called clear water erosion. Um, so in the Aswam Dam, it uh, lowered the channel by 25 millimeters over a period of 18 years. Um, then there's the erosion of the Nile Delta in our case. Um, this is about two and a half centimeters each year. It's quite significant. Um, loss of nutrients uh, also causes uh, a need for fertilizers, which is quite costly. Um, decreased fish catches, um, basically uh there's a decline in the fish population which also has an effect on the fishery uh economy in Egypt displacement of the population um up to 100,000 people had to be removed uh in order to to build this dam uh because the flood plain in order to build a dam you have to um widen the flood plain and so, yeah, these people had to be uh, moved. And also the uh, water quality of the Nile uh, is decreasing, uh, which also causes a spread of diseases uh, such as Bilharzia in the Aswan Dam. That was about it. Uh, but another uh, an additional thing to consider, maybe in this case, um, would be the need for the Aswam Dam. Why was it built? Uh, basically, because the population was cons constantly growing, there was an extra need for uh, agricultural products, which needed more water. So this dam was built. And also for um, flood control, because uh, the population, uh, uh, there were frequent floodings uh, in the area. Um, and finally, uh, it's also a good thing to think about uh, the sustainable use of water. Um, so basically, there shouldn't be any ownership of the water. Uh, now, because of the Aswam Dam, the Egyptians can control the water flow. Um, they are but however they are not allowed to keep back the water from uh, countries that need uh, some water uh, flowing through the uh, river nile uh, so it's important to remember that water is a basic domestic need that should be reserved for such basic use um, and that is about it for dams.